Hello everyone, it's Matthew here from The Green Warriors. I wanted to talk to you guys quickly today about what we believe is the optimum diet in human nutrition for maximum health, energy, vitality, and performance. Now, technically, both Tegan and I are vegans, but you will very, very rarely, if ever, hear us say the controversial V word. V word. And that's not because we don't like vegans, it's not because we don't... Um, you know, believe in the vegan lifestyle, we 100% do. It's because we don't believe being vegan necessarily represents being healthy. And we went into this lifestyle because both of us wanted to turn our health around and turn our life around, not because we wanted to become vegan and wanted to be part of a group. It just so happened to be that the vegan lifestyle was the same as what we've adopted. But you can be a very, very unhealthy vegan. And I've got lots of friends who are vegan and it doesn't necessarily mean they're healthy. I mean, you can be a vegan and eat vegan donuts all day and vegan bread all day uh, and pasta and vegan ice cream and technically you're still a vegan. But does that mean you're healthy? There are a lot of vegan foods that in my mind are empty calories, are far too high in fat and are far too processed. And therefore, what we like to title what we do is a plant-based whole food diet. We honestly believe that a predominantly plant-based raw and whole food diet is the optimum for human nutrition if you want health, maximum performance, energy and vitality, you know, all throughout your days and all throughout your life. We approach this subject with a very, very objective and open mind and we tried to let go of all programming because what we need to understand about society and the system we live in and a lot of what feeds us our information, it all, a lot of it comes from advertising and billboards and marketing and TV and ads and you know news and all those sort of things. And the people providing the information ha generally have some other agenda. They have money that they want to make. And so they want to program you with information that turns you into, con into a consumer. And so we went into this subject, the subject of becoming healthy, with a very open mind, trying to lay aside all preconceptions. And a lot of the ones that people find it very, very hard to overcome, the protein, the iron, the B12, in terms of going on a more plant-based diet, often come back to programming because meat, dairy, supplement industries have programmed fear into your mind and made you believe that there's an instant you know, shortage of protein in the world and you, you can't go plant-based or vegan or vegetarian or anything like that uh, because you'll miss out on these vital nutrients. A lot of it is just to program fear so that because those companies are selling you meat, are selling you eggs, are selling you dairy or are selling you some sort of protein supplement or pre-workout in order to, um, you know, they want to advertise, they want to program your mind to believe that you, you, you're you going to be missing out if you don't consume these products. So the point I'm trying to make here is the first step if you serious about regaining your health, serious about turning your life around, you've got to let go all of the programming. You've got to approach everything with an open mind. And when we approached everything, we started to realize that all roads, all the truth led towards a predominantly plant-based raw whole food diet. And we had lots of limiting beliefs, lots of fear. But as we started slowly implementing it, our health is turned around. The energy, the, the, the vitality, our appearance started changing friends and family started getting incredible results. And when that stuff starts happening, you realize that you're on the right track. And that's when you start digging further and further and further down the rabbit holes. And you start realizing more and more things. And you know, me personally, I used to have the big fear of protein. Like I used to drink five shakes a day and eat my egg whites and meat and take all of all the stuff that I thought I needed to put on muscle. And now without taking any of that stuff, as long as I get enough calories, all the protein and amino acids you could possibly need are in fruits and vegetables, as long as you're getting enough calories. Now, obviously you still need to commit to a, a proper resistance training program because eating alone doesn't make you big, doesn't make you fit, doesn't make you muscly. Otherwise all bodybuilders and athletes would be found in the kitchen rather than on the athletics track or in the gym. So don't delude yourself that food can put on muscle. Weights training puts on muscle. Food aids the growth in the periods of rest between the weight training. And so, going back to my initial message, we, you'll always hear us mention plant-based whole food living because for us, that represents health and health is what we are all after. Health just makes life so much better. When you wake up with energy, when you wake up and you're not sore and you don't need drugs and all these things and you feel 
vitalized and pumped to get through the day, life is just so much better. When you're tired, you're sore, you're sick all the time, then, and I've been there, it, life's just a drag. So for us, we love what vegans do. We love that lifestyle, but we think a vegan diet is useless unless it's based around whole food, plant-based living. As I said before, you can be a vegetarian, you can be vegan, you can be paleo, you can be whatever you want, but if it's from processed, manipulated, man-made foods, you're not gonna experience ultimate health. Now, do you have to completely eliminate meat to get great health? Absolutely not, I don't believe you do. We have, we chose to, because we think that you'll get optimum health if you do, and also we're very compassionate towards animals. The more I looked into factory farming, the more I realized that cows and pigs and all these animals that we just degrade and you know kill in the millions and millions every year are just like our dogs that we treat and love and would you know be devastated if someone killed them. They're just as intelligent, they're just the same. The only difference is it, ha it all happens behind closed walls, behind walls so you can't see it, you don't know what's happening, and therefore it's so easy to turn a blind eye to it. So we decided that we didn't want to do that anymore. Now, you don't have to do that. You can still experience great health if you had a little bit of meat in your diet. Now, if you had a lot of meat in your diet, we don't think you can experience great health. But let's say you went plant-based all the way up to dinner, and then with dinner, you uh, had some meat, and had a big salad around it, you're still gonna experience great health. The number one thing we always, always try to stick to though, whether you're meat eater, whether you're vegan, vegetarian, whether you're anything, is to always combine your foods properly. I've talked about food combining in another, another episode, but it's something that you have to worry about today because everything's so available. In nature, nature provides our meals in simple, you know, singular foods, in mono meals. Now we've got everything available all at once in our supermarkets. You can just, and you can just put everything on your plate all at once just to satisfy your taste buds. But you don't want to eat for your taste. You don't want to eat for instant gratification. You want to eat for health. We get a lot of people saying, oh, but this just seems so hard. I, I, just, I just want to eat foods that taste good. I just want my diet to be exciting. Well, go do that. But it doesn't mean you're going to experience health. The, the, the mindset has to shift. It has to go from each mouthful, I'm eating to nourish my body on a cellular level. I'm eating for health. I'm not eating for instant gratification or to escape, you know, suppress emotions or anything like that. So our, our number one guideline we always follow is to always properly combine your food. So, you know, if I don't, if I eat some processed food or I eat cooked food or anything like that, I always make sure it's at least properly combined. Uh, the other thing is to always make sure that you're getting enough calories. I mean, I, I discovered a growth spur or when I went plant-based, my biggest fear was that I would lose muscle but I found that was the, op the opposite was true. My strength, muscle tone, and everything actually increased um, as long as I got enough calories. So you need to know how many calories you need to sustain the lifestyle you're living or to sustain your weight goals, whether you wanna lose or increase weight. It's up to you, you need to understand how many calories you need. Everything else, the protein, it's all available in the fruits and vegetables. Um, and you don't need to worry about that. So uh, that's my message for today. Eat for health, don't worry about titles. If, if you're a vegan and someone asks you, oh, you're a vegan, are you? Oh, that's a bit crazy. Go, no. Well, technically I'm a vegan, but I'm not about a vegan lifestyle. I'm about eating for health. I'm about eating plant-based whole foods because I honestly believe that that's what gives me the greatest health I can get. So that's what we like to answer people with that question. And generally people go, oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Because vegan has a lot of you know different negative connotations. Once again, I'm not saying vegan's bad. I love the vegan lifestyle on this saying, we live a lifestyle, we want to live a lifestyle that represents health and that is plant-based whole food nutrition. Anyway, please subscribe to the link below. Um, let us know if you have any questions, if you want us to talk about anything else in further videos, but uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you next, next video.